Yo guys, what is up? This is New Icon and welcome back to the channel. It has been far too long and I've noticed that I've been saying that a lot lately in between videos. <laughs> so uh, I just re very quickly want to thank you guys for tuning back in. As you can see, I've, uh, I've, I've been loading up on a bunch of stuff. This is from uh, Relic Blade, yeah. And pardon me guys, I'm just very slightly buzzed. <laughs> but uh, a lot of dust stuff back there. Um, let's see. Uh, loads of 40K, and then this is from Shadespire. These are from Necromunda, and a uh, bunch of stuff I'm still kind of like working on. Some cultists for uh, Gormageddon. Got more shit up here. Um, there's just loads of stuff that's like still to be completed there's more there's like tons of shit in here in that box there these boxes up here loads of stuff up there <laughs> just sprues everywhere um i did however want to <clears throat> begin the video by letting you guys know how i've been um kind of getting over a flu uh, but uh other than that life has been incredibly hectic uh, you know, doing uh, 9 to 12 hour shifts, 6 days a week at the gym, and uh, really almost finding no time for myself. However, that's kind of changed lately, and for that I'm incredibly grateful, and uh, have been really trying desperately to, to fit in a lot of time for the hobby. Um, I didn't really get to do anything last year, just practically nothing. And uh, I did notice uh, my depression and my bipolar disorder kind of got the best of me because I was succumbing to, um, to it a lot and kind of disassociated myself from a lot of people that I care about and was almost, you know, I, I, was, I was like really becoming an introvert. So I found the inspiration to kind of get myself back into this you know uh, I not only do this but I run um, crush pop as well as monolith and a bunch of other little projects that I do I juggle my job uh, my crazy family life and um, it's just been wild man so um, one of the things that I've set down for myself in 2018 is to really kind of focus on setting time for friends, for family, um, work, you know, my my indie stuff, as well as the hobby, which has always been a very important one to me because I find the most the most uh, you know like chill experiences in in indulging in the hobby. It's it's the most relaxing part of what I do. So I really want to get back into it. And uh, one of the things that I was doing was uh, kind of noting down everything that I want to do. Like I set this whole game plan out and was like, I am going to absolutely uh, focus on getting this done the right way. So what I want to do is, what I've been doing rather, has is um, I've been logging my hobby time. You know, if I can get at least 30 minutes to an hour a day, I log it, I note down what I've been painting and where I'm at with certain things and uh, I've really been, I also made a list of all the things that I have and that I want to pay attention to and um, yeah. Needless to say that even though I've been doing nothing <laughs> as far as the hobby goes, I have still been, you know, indulging and uh, being a very, uh, fuck I can't think of the word right now. Um, I buy a lot of shit. That's just how I am. Um, so one of the one of the ones that I got into when it came out was Rune Wars. However, it was a big flop for me. Uh, on the plus side, though, a lot of minis came with the starter as well as uh, two of the reinforcement boxes I bought. So I have a lot of minis that I can use for loads of shit. And I was using them for Cornopia. Um, here's a look at one of the leader guys that I finished. Uh, and then uh, I was working on 
a group of four of these guys, these uh, spearmen, these two guys are done. And uh, I have two more that are currently still being worked on. So I'm slowly but surely, you know, trying to trying to find my groove and get back into it. Um, as far as like the Necromunda stuff, uh, these I I'm really keen on using these for games like Gormageddon. Um, I might play some Necromunda. I'm not entirely sure. I wasn't too thrilled by the new rulebook. Uh, it was okay, but I really want to focus on you know my fucking game. Right? <laughs> Um, one of the other games that I'm really trying to get back into is Resolution because, I mean, I have so many fucking models for the game and I keep buying models for the game. <laughs> so I really want to, I really want to focus on, on kind of getting back into that game. So some of the games at the top of my list are Gormageddon um, and Resolution. Uh, I, I still want to indulge in 40k and Age of Sigmar, however, I'm doing that by way of Age of Fantasy, which is a, uh, it, it used to be, um, they used to be called, um, One Page Anon or something like that, because he was anonymous when he was doing the 40k and, and Warhammer stuff, but, uh, they just now released kind of like a very generic rule set called Grim Dark Future Firefight, which is the one that I play because I, I prefer skirmish games. As well as a, as well as uh, Age of Fantasy skirmish, or um, I think it's called skirmish, uh, but they're basically one-page rules, super easy to play, super fun to play, and uh, focus on both universes. So uh, I get to play, you know, in those universes whilst using a very uh, simple set of rules that I can really kind of get down and play with. But anyhow. Uh, the main meat of this video was to showcase three things that came in the mail. Um, two came in yesterday, one came in today. Um, and I'm going to show those to you now. So the first one that came in was this bad boy here. I've been wanting to get this for a very long time. Come to find out that th all this is is just a box of minis. I mean, I don't know why they put it in this big ass box because um, you literally just get the minis. Um, so this is what I'm looking at here, and this is for a combat zone. A little part of me was hoping uh, I could get the uh, the rule book, but no. Nah. So I've always hated that. What do you guys think about that? Having the the flock and the terrain and shit kind of like go all the way over the edge of the base. I've never liked that. It's always been a big. Uh, meh to me. So, let me go ahead and open this up. So we get this box here. And that's it. See, like there's so much empty space in here. Uh, we do get some, uh, we do get some sheets with uh, point values and shit. Don't know how important that is to me at this point, considering I don't have the rule book. Hex bases, which I will never use. And the minis, which I will show now. Alright. By the way, how crazy is it that I'm making a fucking video after so long? <laughs> so we've got. Um, these, um, fuck, these are so old school. They look so rad. The two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm assuming it's five on five. Damn, I'm definitely gonna be fucking using these. They are a lot smaller though than uh, some other guys. Still use them though. This guy looks cool. So uh, let's see, we've got Grimm's Troopers, which are like the more serious troopers, versus uh, the Gutter Gang, which are um, these guys here, these ragtag dudes. So I'm assuming, let's see if I got these right. This guy goes over there. 
right, so these guys are all the gangers. This guy looks cool. Supported on eBay, by the way. Uh, fairly cheap. Um, kind of bummed I didn't get the rule book, though. I really wanted it. I've been wanting it for a long time. I like rule books, guys. <laughs> Let's see over here. <laughs> and that's just in here. You know, there's, that doesn't count the bookshelf in the living room. I don't I don't see myself using these guys all that much maybe maybe for some like uh, military survivors in Gormageddon but uh, these guys here will definitely see some tabletop use um, all right so the next box which I'm really excited about because I love this game I really liked the game itself Oops, sorry guys was Rusted Heroes. Now, the first box that I picked up a long time ago was this set here, and these were the, um, it was like a Dragon Knight starter box. Uh, each starter box comes with five figures and uh, one mercenary. Um, very cool game. Again, or not again, but uh, like mentioned before with one page rules, the, the rules are a quick start <laughs> set of rules on one page. I guess the game never really took off, uh, but it is incredibly playable and the miniatures are really fucking nice. So this box here, that first one that I was showing you, those were for, and I have those somewhere, I just don't know where they are right now, um, those were um, Dragonites. These are the Norse Invaders. Uh, this is a faction box as well. So this, uh, I mean, it comes with a bunch of the different uh, factions on it because I guess it just saves money that way to do it. So you have like, I guess, three different, um, three different faction boxes and the rules. And look how old it is, man. 2008, yo. Woo! So here are the unit cards. And the minis. Alright. Fucking badass, yo. This is uh, Vargas the Grey Wolf, Norse Lord. And this, let's see, let's see if I can get these in the right order. This is Ma Magna Main Main Berserker of the Bear. I'll show you what the card art or the figure on the card looks like. And this is this bad boy here. He's got like claw hands. Let's see who's next. Alston Warrior. Let's see, I believe it's this guy. Lars is next, and he's one of my favorites. That sculpt is rad as fuck. Definitely like to see these guys on the table at some point. Um, not so much for um, Rusted Heroes. I mean, I might get back into that game now that I have two, because I, I, for the longest time I only had that one set of figures. Um, but maybe for something more universal, like say Age of Fantasy, Skirmish, um, or uh, even Hundred Kingdoms, which is another game that I still really like. Um, and I still have, I again, just like everything else, I've still been collecting those 
This is the mercenary, I think. Yeah, this is Kale the Thief. And then lastly, we've got Terge, Norse Scout. It's a big motherfucker for being a scout. Yeah, there's that and that was a very cool purchase these are very hard to find these days um, most of the starter boxes just aren't sold anymore um, so I think I was pretty lucky with uh, in regards to that you can you can find on eBay a lot of the um, single miniatures though lastly is another box related to resolution and I actually already have one of these um, I just picked up another one because uh, of the uh, god I forgot what they're called Lectro, Lectro vassals yeah these these troops right here and then you have the um, Giovanni in human form um, which I'm assuming is that one the Exec Wait, shit, that might be the executor. That might be the hacker. Fuck, I, I don't even know. <laughs> but what's what's cool about the starter boxes for resolution is they give you so much as far as uh, stuff you get aside from the minis. So you get the you get the minis, then you get the cards, you get a deviation die, um, the quick start rules, which are incredibly playable on their own. Um, and the CD-ROM with a bunch of like printable terrain. Um, so the Dravani crew box was always one of my favorites. They're they're one of my favorite factions in the game. Um, I did I did pick up this one too uh, a little while back. Like I said, if you don't if you didn't believe me, there you go. <laughs> um, this Dravani starter box I think was the one that came out later. Because it's a it's a completely different looking box. So I don't know if this is the earlier one or let's find out together, guys. Um, shit, I don't know. There's like no date or no year on it. Because one came out. I think this one might be the one that came out earlier. But I can see it's, it's different looking. This was the one that I picked up. Uh, another one of my favorite factions in the game. These are still in the box. I think I might have done a unboxing with these guys, so I'm not gonna really go over these. But uh, Ronin are really cool faction. I think Ronin are the ones that can also be hired as mercenaries, if I'm not mistaken. Now, let me go ahead and rip this bad boy open and show you the Dravani. Sculpts are really cool. Um, game is really rad. It is uh, kind of like sci-fi slash uh, cyberpunk. Um, one of the cool things about the game is... Uh, it, it, it feels very Shadowrun-ish, and there's the ability to like hack terminals and actually ha play a completely different game in the game where you're basically like having a hacker war. Um, that's really fucking cool. I've never really gotten to get that into the game and play that, but uh, or indulge in that, but still fucking cool nonetheless. So. Once you open it, you get your quick start with like this little cool poster on the inside, your CD-ROM, and you get your minis. So, let's toss those there. Deviation die in this game is really fucking interesting and unique. And, I'll pop these models out because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be painting these soon. 
By the way, if you guys ever watched my <laughs> my older videos, you guys definitely heard me talk about how I could never make up my mind over beveled or lipped bases. I could never make up my mind. And just recently, not recently, recently, but uh, finally came to the conclusion that I like beveled bases. The more I, I painted on them, or miniatures on them, and uh, the more I played games, I really don't care. Uh, so, because for the longest time I didn't like beveled, be beveled edge bases, um, but I, I would never play on a tabletop where someone's using beveled bases and lift bases and hex bases. It just throws everything off, and that it just like it hurts my OCD to like no end. All right, so here are the cards. Um, and the model. So the Electro Vassals are really cool sculpt. If I had my, um, if I had my, uh, painted models out here, I would definitely be showing those off. But, uh, yeah, these are definitely going to be added to that group. Very cool little, uh, grunt unit. Let's see. So those are the Electro Vessels. The Wraith has the 9mm pistol. Um, a remote board and a small machine gun. That might be her actually. This one right here. So that might be the Wraith. And the Giovanni human form has the mono blades and dual heavy pistols. So that might be this guy that's a different sculpt though wow i guess i i have an earlier version of or uh, not an earlier well shit. no i have the later version i guess of this guy because the later version looks pretty different from this dude here as far as i remember And then this must be the executor who has a nine millimeter pistol and a mach small machine gun, but I don't see a small machine gun on her. What you see is what you get, guys. Are going to fucking flip. <laughs> but it's on the card. It's on the card. So yeah, so this is the these are the contents of the Giovanni starter. Um, this is a very cool little uh, a little added bonus for anybody. Uh, playing the game. This comes with terrain with like barricades and walls and um, the, the hacking terminals, um, barrels, and like all sorts of sh There's a lot of stuff on here. Um, and then this was always cool. I loved collecting these. I have quite a few of these, the quick start rules, just because of the poster it has on the inside. And this is a, whoa, this is a different poster. The, the posters I always had were the ones of, uh, we're always the ones of the um, all the different miniatures and stuff. Check this bad boy out. These right here are the uh, that guy, the Hitomi, I believe it's called, is uh, part of the starter box. Starter box is always cool if you can get your hands on it. Um, normally, I think it's sixty dollars. I was able to score it for very cheap. Um, and if you ever get your hands on it, I mean, you definitely do, because the amount of models you get for it, it's it's insane. And the game is incredibly awesome. These are Peacekeepers, which are some of my favorite models from the CSO faction in the game. And then this bad boy, which looks like uh, super goofy. This guy right here belongs to the CSO faction. You guys might have seen me talk about him in the past. I just recently put them together and primed them up. So I do want to get started on them. You can tell it's been a while because there's fucking dust on there. But anyhow, with that said, I am done, guys. Thought I would show you guys a couple of things that I've been doing, uh, catch you guys up uh, to speed with where I'm at. Uh, I do, I mean, I do want to go more into detail as to like the stuff I'm up to, but that'll have to be for another video. Um, but I'm gonna try my hardest to start making this a regular thing. Um, if I can at least pump out one a week, uh, it should be 
fucking more than enough, I think, especially for me with, with my schedule. But if you guys have watched this far, you know, thank you guys so much. It's been Jesus fucking Christ since 2008 when I started doing this shit, and I couldn't be more appreciative of uh, all the friends that I've made and all the people that I've that I've met. You guys are fucking awesome, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, thank you so much for coming back to the channel after this long, you know. And, and for those of you who are still subbed, I mean, Jesus, guys. You, you guys could be anywhere else, and you guys still choose to, uh, you know, ch come back and check out the videos whenever they get posted, however long it takes, you know. So I'm really grateful for that. Uh, I do want to leave with one little thing here. I promised somebody that I was going to do this, and uh, just in case you thought I was fucking around, bro, I am not. A uh, really good friend of mine, someone that I consider a very, very good friend, uh, someone that I, I think is super awesome, Sinister Cog. You might know him on YouTube uh, under that name. Um, I am challenging him to produce content on YouTube. And if he does, I will continue to do the very same. I find so um, few today very inspiring. There are guys out there that I watch that are still pretty motivating. And um, I'm going to use a lot of that to kind of push me uh, to keep making videos and to keep getting, you know, to keep indulging in the hobby. Really good guys like uh, British Legion is one of them. Uh, good old Canvas, if you guys ever remember him. Uh, still still talk to him. Uh, but uh, he's uh, one of the best uh, painters I've ever had the experience of, of getting to know. Just really, really cool dude. Um, so... The more I, I find, you know, these days uh, with the YouTube crowd, it, it's it's not the same, you know. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I miss 2009 and 2010 a lot. Those are some of the best times I've ever experienced in the hobby. And uh, it's, just, uh, it's just not the same anymore because today... Everyone wants to run around and pretend that there's some fucking, uh, there's some fucking prima donna uh, producer, and I'm not ashamed to say that shit because I call, I call it like I see it, and I don't appreciate um, what it's done to something that I've thoroughly enjoyed for a very long time. So everybody who pours their heart into like what they do, to just, to just take take the goodness out of something like this, you know, to, to make friends, to, to find the encouragement, to indulge in the hobby and to really be there for one another. Like that's, that's what I'm about. And that's why I've always loved doing what I do. And, um, and, uh, yeah, so thank you guys. Uh, but yeah, I want to, I wanted to call out Sinister Cog and, and tell him that, yo bro, I wasn't fucking around and I want to see some content, man. You have produced some amazing shit and I feel like absolute trash for messing up the whole um the whole co-series that we were trying to do with uh um with uh nemesis the the nemesis board game where we were trying to go back and forth with gameplay uh between our channels i wouldn't mind doing something like that again <laughs> so we'll have to see where we go with that but i would love to see you produce some new stuff show everybody what you've been up to and show everybody what you've been painting because it is so damn good so damn good. Okay. Thank you guys. With that said, thank you guys. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. And I thank you so much for watching and taking the time to uh, stick around on the channel. Um, I should have uh, new stuff coming up soon. So stay tuned. You guys all be good. Hope you guys are all enjoying your 2018. Hope you guys all had a great eating new year. And uh, may this year be your year. You guys are all fucking incredibly awesome. Cheers.